Good morning, everyone. Happy energy reading. I'm Terry. Good to see you guys again. I'm sure you know what I'm doing right now. Can you guess? I know you guys have been watching this long enough to know that I am pulling cards for us <laughs> to take an energy temperature check to see what the potentials and possibilities of today might look like. Now, I'm just going to give um, some implementation tools as well so that we have an idea of how we can navigate our human experience today. Now, this is a general reading, which means not all this information is going to resonate with everyone. So just take what does and toss what doesn't. And also remember that nothing I say is ever set in stone. You have your God-given gift of free will and choice, which means every time you make a choice or a decision, you're creating your reality. So just keep in mind not to be married to every word that I say, um, that you are the one in charge of your life. I've got the cards here. And just really quick, if you find that you want something more personal, more private, we can definitely arrange that. All you got to do is go to terryhuberman.com and click on the book a reading section. As a matter of fact, right now there's a $20 off coupon code decade19 at the end at checkout for a 30 minute reading. If you choose that option, you'll get $20 off. That's until December 31st. All that information is down in the comment section below. And it's super easy to do. So who's ready to see how today may go or what it could potentially look like? I am. All right. Here we go. Eight of hearts. El Negrito. Focus. And Emperor. This guy showed up last week. All right. We have the Emperor, Focus, El Negrito, and Eight of Hearts. All right, that's the energy we're working with today. Let me put this together for us. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, got it. And, of course, it'll form more as we go along. So... This is the time of year where a lot of people, this is in the area of relationship and heart link connection. Um, I do feel this is relationshipy, but this might also fit in the scope of family and friends too. So not coworkers, not so much. Um, so when you hear this, listen to it more from the ears of um, relationship with the potentials of it being family as well, all right? So what we have here is it feels to me like this is a time of year when everybody is just so focused on relationships. So in other words, there seems to be a spotlight on whether you are in relationship or whether you're single. And a lot of people are feeling this, okay? They're feeling that they're missing connection and that that's really what's going on because this is the time of year where families and friends get together. Um, sometimes there's drama, but it's really about reunion, connection, um, and so there are people who, who feel that just because they are not in relationships, so maybe they don't have a, fa a big family or they don't have a family or they don't have a significant other or a partner, that um, it's not, it doesn't feel good that they're left out, they're lonely or whatnot. Well, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't have to be that way. It doesn't have to be the case. You're putting too much focus too much awareness on the fact that you don't have that or that, that it's missing or that there's a lack of it. And so there's some self-leadership that needs to be taken um, 
taken here in, in, in that if you don't have that, you're not a bad person. So there's some sort of an interpretation of like, there's something wrong with me if I don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, or there's something wrong with me if I'm not in relationship, or there's something wrong with me because I don't have my family to go to for the holidays or something, just something along those lines. Woe is me. And you're putting way too much focus and awareness on that. And we know how energy works. Yes. Where you place your awareness energy flows and goes. So the more you think about being lonely, let's just call it lonely, the more you're going to feel lonely. And that's actually what you're putting out in your attractor field. That is what you are emitting. That's the broadcast signal that you're getting, that you're putting out. Woe is me. I'm all alone. So you're going to create situations that will continuously feed that energetic vibration. Okay. Um, so there'll be situations and, and scenarios that will keep repeating just to purposely show you. So that's when you'll start to see way more commercials about, you know, ring engagements and all of this fun stuff. Right. So if you can switch your focus and really like get out and have some fun and maybe just see the silver lining to not having so much responsibility, it, puts you in a place of self-leadership where you can actually contain and regulate your emotions, right? And it helps you draw yourself into yourself, okay? It gives you strength. Um, so if you can still get out there, don't isolate just because you may not have a date, just because you don't, you aren't in relationship, just because your family, you know, you're not with your family. Like still get out there, find entertainment Find things to do to entertain yourself, okay? Um, you're not you're 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 not just left out because you don't have those things, okay? So you're putting too much focus and awareness on lack of either attention or connection. It feels more like connection, all right? So 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 that's the implementation tool is still to just get out there. Um, find ways to entertain yourself, do things by yourself. It's okay. Cause otherwise this is the time of year where in, in a way it's kind of mushed in your face and you're going to feel even worse. You're going to, it's going to like spiral even worse because the media is presenting what it presents, which is always, you know, advertising and financially based. So you're going to have all these commercials about engagements, all these commercials about giving puppies to children, you know, print ads, the whole thing, and you know, internet, everything. It's very focused money, you know, throw money into a relationship and you'll feel love. But there are other ways to feel love. You can get your own self-love by entertaining yourself, finding ways to make yourself smile, all right, because then you'll find that there is an abundance of love all around you. You're just, it's just coming from you, right? So that sounds cliche. It sounds corny. You know, you create your own love, but really you end up creating your own love by not focusing and placing so much awareness outside of you and thinking that you don't have love. So does that make sense? You're actually reserving your sense of love. So it's not like you're creating self-love. You're reserving your energy of love because you're not focusing out there. All right, guys. All right, guys. What am I always saying? Stay connected. Stay connected to your family and friends. Stay connected to yourself. Yes. Just like I was saying in this reading. And stay connected to me. And of course, you can stay connected to me by checking me out at terryhuberman.com. And if you're looking to get out of indecision and into your intuition, I'm your gal. I have a package that has energy, healings, and breath work readings, and coaching to help you get unstuck and moving forward again. If that sounds great, check out my website, terryhuberman.com. There's an area all the way at the top. It's a button. Click it. It's the one that says intuitive coaching package section. Go ahead, read up all that information. There's more than what I just said to you. And schedule a complimentary consultation where we'll get on the call and you can tell me what it is that you're trying to build for yourself. What kind of life do you want to create? And I'll see if I can help you. And if I can, that's awesome. We can work together and you can get unstuck moving forward, getting into your intuition out of indecision. How does that sound? Schedule that complimentary consulta consultation, get your 2020 moving 
forward, and I'll see ya on the flip side.